The only good thing about this world is nature. This is all nature we see right here, Mother Nature. But the sad thing is, we destroyed the world. See, God, if there is a God, let's say, I'm not sure, I'm just saying, but he made the world a nice place. But the only down part of it is, we destroyed it. We destroyed it. Because all we do is work our asses off, pay bills, pay taxes. It's all about paying. That's, that's the only word we hear in our ears. Pay, pay, fee, fee. But no one hears your pleas, you know? This is the society we live in. So once this world was great, now it's, it's, it's hell, you know? Like before humans existed, before the humans existed, this world was probably sort of decent. It was good, you know? It was all nature. But we destroy everything. Humans are, the, you know, humans destroy everything, man. The biggest idiots alive, you know? We're the real animals. We're the real animals. We are. Allowing a piece of paper to control us, killing someone for a piece of paper, liking someone only because of a piece of paper. You don't love that person for who he truly is. You only like you don't, you know you only like that person for what he has. And if he doesn't have it, you know what he is? It's that garbage right there. Now you see, hold on. That's you basically if you don't have paper. That's what that's how we think of each other. And it's sad, man. You know, it's really sad. You know, the nature and everything, I love the nature, but it's just what we did to the world. It's like we forget about nature. All we're really thinking about more than nature is working, how we're gonna pay bills, how, you know, how, how, how much money do we have? Or It's like, that's all that's on our minds, guys. That's all that's on our minds. We're forgetting the true beauty of life, but instead we just bypassed all of this into stupid paper, man. You see what I mean? Like, it, it's sad. Anyway, I'm gonna uh, just walk a little bit because there's people around, so. Just gonna walk a little bit. Bunch of idiots here. <laughs> As you can tell, <laughs> you're assholes. This is this is the world we live in. We've got a slave driving the train. That should be automated right there, man. Look at that. I'm gonna talk a little bit more when I pass these idiots over here. So let's just I'm gonna be quiet for a sec. Once or pass this lady. <clears throat> Alrighty. So, you know, we forget about the true nature of, of life. Because all that's really on our minds is money. That's all we talk about, it's all that comes out of our mouth. That's all we do in life, you know, we just, we always talk about this stuff, man. We always talk about this stuff. That's all it is. You're a slave, man. You know what should be a job? Exercising, which is what I'm doing right now. 
That should be a job. Doing a lap around, you know? This should be a job. Not all the stupid shit like being a receptionist, sitting at a stupid desk all day, fucking being at Burger King, frying burgers all day, fucking bored and stressed out of your mind. Being a cashier constantly, your brain's always running and, you know, you have no break or whatever. Life shouldn't be like that. As, at least not right now, it shouldn't. I mean, we have technology now that could do almost all of these things already. It's just sad how we don't see it happening yet. You know, like, there's a lot of jobs right now I can name right off the bat that should already be automated. And yes, the train, maybe that, you know, that that's still years and years to come, but jobs that should already be gone. Cashiers should be gone. Waiters should be, uh, should be gone. What else? Uh, waiters, cashiers, chefs. All this shit should, should honestly, you, any a machine can easily do all this stuff. And it's probably more efficient. It's probably more cleaner. You know what I mean? Because a human, think of it, you never know when, what they do to your food, you know, if they spit in your food or, you know, you get some nasty humans. Like once I was in Burger King and someone, uh, what do you call it? I ordered a fry, uh, a, a Whopper with fries. And I seen one of the workers sticking their hand, sticking their hand in my bag to get the fries. To get the fries. I swear to God, I'm not joking about this. Now, would a robot do something like that? You know what I mean? Like, that's how, and, this, and then you wonder why there's so many germs and stuff, you know? You know, once I was at a restaurant <clears throat> and the waiter, waitress, you know, it was a lady, and, you know, she gave us the food and everything. She was a nice person, but what was in the food? A, a chunk of her hair. You see what I mean? Like, this is why it should be automated. This is why it should be automated. You know what I mean? But I kid you not, Burger King, I, I ordered a Whopper and fries. I think chicken nuggets too, I don't remember. I know it was fries and a Whopper though. <clears throat> and I seen her sticking her hands in my bag. In my bag. Take And she didn't just take one, she took like a good two or three, or maybe even four. And then she comes at the, at the window and says, here you go. Oh fuck, bro. You see what I mean? Like... This is who we got working, a whole bunch of degenerates, man. Sad. It really is. This is what this is what I see with my own eyes. It'll be so much more efficient with automation. We could be free. We could do the things we want to do. Exercise, stay in shape, go to the gym, do yoga, you know, healthy things, things that are actually really good for our health. Because what we're doing now, it's putting a lot of stress on us, man. And it, it can't be good for your health to be stressed like this, you know. You know well, I, I got to pay bills. I got to do this or that. This work. Well, and then there's people that got to work more than one job. Because think of it like this. One job's not enough. They're, not make, they're just making not even a living. Maybe, you know, like <clears throat> not even a living. Because it's not enough. So they got to work another job just to try to make enough that's called a living, you know. So you're slaving two jobs, if not more, just to pay bills, just to survive. You're doing all this to just survive. And in the long run, we're all just gonna die. So I say to myself, why the fuck do I gotta do something I don't wanna do? Why do I gotta do something I don't wanna do when I'm just gonna go back into that error state of not existing? Like, I'd rather have just never exist to begin with, you know? Like, like what is the what is, what is worth doing all this stuff, you know? And especially in today, like, we have automation. Like, why the hell are we still killing ourselves this way, man? Like, I admit, maybe things had to get done back then. Technology wasn't there at the time too much. But now we have so many opportunities with technology. And it's like, we're still the guinea pigs. We're still the slaves here, man. We're the assholes still slaving away our, our lives. Your whole existence, you're just working. You're, you know, when you're a kid, you're wasting, you waste your whole childhood in school. Then when you, uh, you know, you're a teenager, you, you grow, you know, you're a teenager, almost an adult. Then you're in college, possibly, and you're wasting your whole four years being in college. And then after that, after that, you go to fucking get a job. 
and nine to five, whatever, you're wasting your whole life, all day, doing something you honestly hate doing. Honestly, something you hate doing. Just to survive. Like I'd rather not survive at all, you know? I'd rather just cut to the chase. You waste your whole life as a child going to school. That's all, you, that's all your, your existence revolves on when you're a child. School, school, homework, school, tests, all that stupid shit. Then when you get, become a teenager and shit, high school, then boom, college. After that, jobs, working nine to five every day, if not earlier. All fucking day, eight hours, overtime, whatever, the f you know? And then in the end, you get just maybe a little bit of free freedom. A little bit, not even. Maybe just a little bit. Because you retire. And then guess what happens after that? You have a little bit of freedom after. You have a little bit of a life then. And then boom. You die. That's it. Life's over. You know what I mean? Like, so you just, you, spe you we spent, we all spend our whole existence doing something we truly didn't want to do in the first place. But we have no choice. We got to survive. We got to make money. We got to make, I mean, that's, this is the only thing we're programmed to do. The only thing we're programmed to do. You know, it's, it's, it's honestly, it's really sad. In my, in my eyes, I think it's sad, man. Sad. This is the only thing we know what to do. You know, we don't. It's like we have no other purpose. Our only purpose is making money, making money. Money makes the world go around. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't, man. It's all just a fucking made-up concept, man. That's all it is. You're a child, you're in school all your life. As you start to get older, you're a teenager, almost a young adult, you're in college. And then boom, after that, job. Whatever the hell it is. You're, you're, you're a slave somewhere. And then you eventually retire. And, oh, I can't wait to retire. I got a little bit of freedom now. And then you have just a little bit of a life left of peace, sort of. I mean, you still got to pay stupid bills. So that ain't fun. And then, guess what? You die. That's it. You waste your whole life doing something you truly didn't want to do in the first place. Just to survive. Just to survive. When in reality, I, I just... I'd rather just, you know, not. You know, like... It's ridiculous, man. This is the world we live in, guys. Just, you know? We forget about true nature, you know? It's like... And then people say, you gotta meditate. Don't don't think you know be in the present don't think in the future well how the fuck could you think like that if you always have these stupid bills coming or money or money money is, is what takes us out of the present money takes us out of the present because we're, we're always worried about the future you know that's all <coughs> we're always worried about the future it's just sad dude then you wonder why people have anxiety, depression, all, all these illnesses, you know, all these mental problems. And I'm one of them that suffer from anxiety, you know. I, I suffer really bad. And I'd be honest, you know, like, I, I can't stand it. And I think a part of it is because of the way life is. I just don't like the way this is. It's just, it's just a fucked up world, man. You know, it's just a cruel world. We truly are not cared for in any way. We only care for what we have. And if we don't have it, we're nothing. We're, we're that garbage right there. That, that's what we are. You won't eat without that. If you have, if you have, let's say, cancer, or you know what, you have, you're dying in your deathbed. They won't help you. They don't, they don't do nothing. You don't, have, you don't have insurance, money, or any. It just, you're like a doormat, man. You just, you're just like a doormat. You're just a doormat in this world. That's all we all are. If we don't have that piece of paper, we're treated like a doormat. And it's the truth. Whether you know people want to admit it or not, it, it's the truth. And it really is, man. Sad. But uh anyway, it's kind of chilly out here, so I'm gonna get back to the car. But you know, sad dude. This is life. This is this is this is how we live. We forget about beautiful nature, like I keep saying. It's like this world sucks now, and it's all because of us. You know, it's not the world exactly that sucks, it's us that made it suck. It's us that made it suck. We turned this place into hell. Whoever the creator is of this, this earth, or what, you know, did a, did a pretty good job. But we just, we just, what's the word I want to try to say? It's like, we just, we, def, we fucked it up, man. You know, we just, we, we really screwed up, man. We really screwed up big. And, you know, it's, 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 it's the truth. We screwed up real big, man. 
I want a piece of paper to rule everything, everything. This paper tells us to do everything, man. You need me to eat. You need me to drive. You need me for gas. You need me for food. Drinks. To go to a beach and get a stupid tan. You know, you need every little thing you need this shit for, man. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Xbox or not, but just to change your fucking gamer tag, $10. $10 to change a fucking name, dude. A fucking name. $10. It couldn't be a I mean, it shouldn't cost anything, honestly. You're just changing a fucking name. You should change the name and then they should say, you know, give you 90 days before you can do it again. But no. It's $10 to change. I don't know if it's still like this. I mean, I don't play anymore like I used to, but at the time, it, it $10 to change a fucking name, bro. It's all money. It's, it's fucking pathetic, man. Even changing your name has a price tag on it. Change your stupid name. This is, this is, I, I just got to laugh, you know, I just, I got to laugh. I mean, this is how stupid society is, man. It's how stupid society is. A stupid name. Ten dollars. Shouldn't cost anything, but if anything, at least make it a dollar or, or but ten dollars. That's how much that day my uh, Whopper cost at, at Burger King. Not more. <laughs> oh, you just gotta, it's, it's crazy. All right, guys, I'm gonna cut it there, man. Getting really cold out here. All right, peace out. Society sucks, remember that.